The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Nudesic and our partners at Nintex, I want to thank you for joining us for today's webinar on Intelligent Field Services. I'm Leslie Mays. I'm one of Nudesic's business productivity team members here to kick off the presentation today. Nudesic and Nintex have teamed to bring you this webinar to take a closer look at some of the changes that are happening today as intelligent technologies are being applied to field services. Uh, the presentation and the relating event series is actually a result of uh, the recent Evolving Your Digital Workplace events that we've done, where we most repeatedly heard questions from our attendees about how to apply digital capabilities as people are transforming to adopt more digital uh, usage cases to their organization within different field surface operations. So this webcast is going to be previewing our upcoming live events that are starting off next month in Chicago. We'll give you reference on where to go to register for those at the end of today's presentation. And this series, as well as this webinar, is going to provide some strategies for applying intelligent technologies to unify, unify your field staff and headquarters teams for greater efficiencies and profitability. Our presenter today is Nudesic's Pallavi Sharma. She is a digital workplace lead with us at Nudesic. She's got a depth of technical experience ranging from enterprise architecture design and development to actually implementing and working with organizations in the adoption processes for automation apps and programs. Please, uh, I welcome you to access her expertise today and please post questions throughout the presentation. We've saved some time at the end so Pallavi can provide you with some answers and perspectives. So Pallavi, thanks for being with us today. We're happy to have you sharing this info and I'll hand it off to you to start the presentation. Thanks, Leslie. Hello everyone and welcome. Let's get started. So now what you see on your screen here are two very interesting facts from Gartner that caught my attention while I was researching for field services and I had to share them all with you. you. While you are going through these facts, I'm going to summarize. These two facts speak to the current trends and growing importance of field services with relevance to customer satisfaction and optimizing beyond the current data collection methods. This is where intelligent field services capabilities are impacting revenue and are being examined as an area to increase profitability. The business world is currently experiencing a major transformation generated by cloud computing and digitization. The industrial internet of things, artificial intelligence, and big data are all a part of massive opportunity to change and improve how we do business today and the value we provide to our customers. Digital transformation for field services is no different than any other industry. It has rapidly become a necessity and it's well underway for leading enterprises. Digital transformation for field services is key to growth. And for this to happen in your organization, it is very important that you assess where you are today. These are the five levels of maturity provided by uh, provided for any organization with enough insight into a digital workplace at your organization today. Achieving higher levels of maturity can elevate an organization's ability to respond to changes in dynamic business markets. As firms mature in their services offered to partners and employees, and also their field service employees, they become even more empowered, eventually achieving a transformative state. Now, Neodesic works with our client partners to assess their current state on the digital workplace maturity scale for a particular area of focus. Within the organization, it is very common to have different levels of maturity in different divisions. Neodesic helps organizations with a roadmap of where you are today for your project goals and also how to achieve them. Now, who is our field staff that we are targeting today for our intelligent field services? These are the employees who do not work at a company's office, but travel to different places in order to do their work. Field personnel are seen in a wide range of industries today, insurance, healthcare, manufacturing, construction, engineering. You see them as scientists in the pharma and life science industry. 
They could be performing inspections as utility workers for the government in your neighborhood. You also identify them as insurance or banking brokerage agents, resident workers. They are your field sales agents, warehouse fulfillment team members, delivery service providers, or equipment installation workers. A field service is a vital function of many businesses and industries. The core of the job entails delivery and maintenance of mission critical pieces of equipment like medical devices, power plants, construction and manufacturing machines, diagnostic tools, elevators, also restaurant refrigerators, and many more. It requires a lot of time on the field and on the road, and a lot of data is transmitted back and forth from site to office. So now let's take the next step and define intelligent field services and how these solutions can tie in with AI. Intelligence is being talked about as the new currency of business. This is when we as an organization enable our field workers with more, more automation, more intelligent solutions that help them do their jobs on the go. In the ideal state, field workers are always up to date with the latest and greatest policies and procedures for their current projects, they have easy access to all the info that they need and are aware of corporate strategy and products. One innovative mechanism to drive intelligent solutions is to augment the field technician with AI capabilities. Cognitive features like speech to text, facial, object or image recognition, and even chatbots that can assist them on the go with latest up-to-date information for process and products in context to their current field work. Let's take an example of an insurance field technician working through insurance reviews, say after an accident. Today, it is all paper-based and takes a considerable amount of time and multiple cycles of approval across departments. Now, in the current state, description of the damage is not currently being captured and there are multiple cycles involved to get it right. Building intelligent field service solution in this use case can ensure that multiple pictures or even a video of the damage is submitted and this is validated against the cognitive services to ensure that imagery is sufficiently clear of the subject related to the claim, that it's a house in the picture or a car or a boat. This agent has easy access to a virtual assistant for any questions he has for this kind of claim. Say, for example, what defines the severity of the damage? And once this claim is submitted, this claim will have help from AI to assess the damage, recommend repair costs, and suggest timelines, which enhances the customer experience as well. Opportunities are endless here. These innovative solutions will go a long way in building quick ROI and add to your quality of outcomes. Now, syncing the field data with headquarters can drive real-time data analysis and predictions as well. Machine learning and cognitive services can now easily be consumed by the workflow and forms, which was not possible earlier. Now let's discuss a few key areas of how field services are affecting your organizations today. Field service is a vital function of many business and industries. So let's ask ourselves these questions. You know, does your field staff have tons of manual data entry? Are they using paper-based forms? While these legacy procedures are second nature to some field workers, they are not the most effective or efficient approaches. Do these field workers have to follow a complex and convoluted manual process for approvals across departments? Do they have to log into multiple applications on different platforms to get context information related to just one item? All this leads to duplication of work and is prone to human errors. This is an inaccurate way of data capture and is often not real time, implying delayed data entry, resulting in inaccurate status and insights. Now, the inability to analyze trends and issues by our company's leaders and champions can have a pretty significant impact on the company's growth. This is certainly not in alignment with your company's vision and achieving future goals. Now comes the question, why target field services? The field service staff is out on the road, often working on their own with limited opportunity to discuss with their peers and collaborate, they have time constraints to work with while on the field and access to updated policies and procedures and even training is often an area of concern. In essence, why modern and intelligent field services? So that we can utilize field data to reduce service disruptions, accelerate operational effectiveness, improve accuracy, 
mitigate risks, and more rapidly achieve outcomes. When your solutions are integrated and intelligent, your field team has improved visibility of their tasks and can be more informed and flexible when it comes to solving problems, increasing equipment uptime and first time fixed rates. It also means that communication with your customers is more efficient. Automating processes, forms, and documents results in shorter service times for equipment owners and accelerated service to cash cycle times for service providers. Additionally, the stakeholders get an insight into the field data via intelligent dashboards and very easily they can turn these insights into actions. Now, based on the maturity level of your organization, you can start the process of identifying how to make your field services intelligent. Your desk simple mantra, bring people, data, and process together, and wrap all the three with intelligence. If you are an organization that relies heavily on paper, you can start to replace this huge mass of paper by going digital. Needless to say, you know, paper-based systems are antiquated and not secure. You can also start to identify the complex processes and start to simplify them. You can automate and optimize these business processes, accelerate your timeline of completion for these. Some organizations may or may not have a mobile device solution in place today. Maybe you have a solution for one device, but now need to support new multiple devices. So a good step is to start towards a unified device independent solution approach. We are targeting a hybrid mix of people, process workflows, and intelligent cognitive services to optimize your business process from simple to modern to sophisticated. Leveraging the power of intelligence process automation to automate, orchestrate, and optimize your process in the field, you can equal huge time savings for service providers and customers by reducing costs and delivering better service. Now, all that we have talked about warrants faster and easier development and design timelines, and it demands a self-servicing model with minimal code and low maintenance cycles. There can be multiple approaches for building these intelligent field service solutions. Udesic has partnered with Nintex to deliver a suite of solutions for field services. This has a proven track record. Udesic clients have been very excited to use the easy drag and drop options to design and build your responsive forms that work across all devices. They're excited to automate processes using visual workflows that require minimal or no code. They are finding that it's easy to optimize even the most sophisticated field service processes. They enjoy the simplicity and ease of routing approvals and utilize features for integration with third party applications. Goal for field service solution is to make the field staff work easier, faster, smarter, and work anywhere. Everyday mobile device features like barcode or QR code scanning, geolocation tagging, signature capture, image and video attachments, can be used for a rich and familiar device independent data capture experience. As a field technician, now you have the ability to submit your findings irrespective of whether you are in an area with no network. The form will still get saved, and when your device gets connected to the network, it submits the form and triggers the necessary next steps. Lazy approval takes care of scenarios where the approver has only email available to him. It allows him to approve tasks while on the go, just by responding to an email from your mobile device. End goal is to automate the field services in the areas of scheduling in tasks, accelerating services execution, and exceed expectations by accurate diagnostics and predictions. Now with the AI cognitive services that are available to us today, we have the ability to apply all the five, vision, knowledge, speech, search, and language to build innovative and intelligent field service solutions. Today, we have the ability to easily use complex image processing algorithms to smartly identify, caption, and moderate your pictures that can be utilized by the field staff. You can map complex information and data in order to solve tasks such as intelligent recommendations and semantic search. Innovative field solutions that can convert spoken audio into text, use voice for verification, or even add speaker recognition in a field that can go a long way. We can go above and beyond in providing customer experience by providing search APIs to our field services to harness the ability to comb billions of web pages, images, videos, and news with a single API call. We also now have the ability to process natural language with pre-built scripts, evaluate sentiments, and learn how to recognize what users want, consume an FAQ chatbot, 
or virtual assistants on that platform. All this leads to more accurate monitoring and control to meet standards of delivery, enhanced user experience, and unified means of communication. Now, these are some of the top use cases for our field services. You can pick a department, any department, and you will realize that smooth and simplified processes make every part of your business work better, from human resources to marketing to finance to customer service and support. Now, let's take uh, one example which is not listed here, say a beverage delivery technician who, who, whose job function is to stock a refrigerator in a convenience store. What if he had the ability to complete this task via a form on his device? All he needs to do is to upload an image of the stocked refrigerator once he's done. Behind the scenes, an intelligent workflow does the quality check via artificial intelligence, ensuring all rows are filled or cans are facing out, or even the cans are placed in the right categories. So a shot in process using automated workflow is a massive improvement on one traditional manual process, which can take far longer to resolve in the near future, an IPA-powered solution could support predictive and preventive maintenance to notify your team in advance if, say, an equipment was going to break down or needed repairs. Replacement parts could be ordered and a technician can be sent to fix the problem without any manual input from the customer. Field services can now also manage the scheduling of resources, ordering of parts, creation of work orders, service reports, as well as proactively monitoring an, an equipment. Some of these most impactful field solutions include the use of dynamic on-site inspection checklist, data-driven equipment service reports, and work orders with the ability to embed image while working remotely and mobile apps that allow for the capture of approval signatures, even when offline. There's often a multitude of disparate systems and involved procedures at play, which make streamlining these a bit difficult, but luckily, there are ways that organizations and field service management can use this automation platform to bring about a digital and intelligent change. With examples like these, modern technology working to predict and act without the need for human intervention is what brings the concept of digital intelligent transformation to life, transforming the traditional legacy field services that we have witnessed in the past. Now let's walk through an end-to-end -end intelligent field service solution scenario. Uh, in this case, there is a field technician who is responsible for, say, monitoring an equipment. Using cognitive services for facial recognition, this field technician logs into his mobile device application. The solution authenticates him and security is validated. You can also utilize speech for security. Additionally, this solution can also intelligently check and confirm using his face image if he's equipped with a safety hat, which is essential for him to perform his field job. You can also check for safety glasses if applicable. Once this check is done, he finds an automated task assigned to him, monitoring of a specific equipment. Now, this equipment's warranty has expired, so this task is automatically added to his calendar. He needs some additional details about this new equipment now. Um, now that he has the ability to speak to his virtual assistant to find out more details about this new, new equipment, an FAQ chatbot can be utilized here. While monitoring this equipment, say he identifies a damage and needs to report it. This damaged equipment can delay and slow the manufacturing process or even create disruptions in other linked processes resulting in lost revenue. So it is crucial that it is replaced or repaired at the earliest. To log the inspection results, he starts populating the damage report. Now, his geolocation is automatically populated. He takes a couple of pictures, uploads them using his device's native cap capabilities. This populates a bunch of context-driven related lookup fields from other third-party systems, which was not possible before. It fills a couple of other fields, and he submits his form. Now, once this request is submitted, this automatically gets escalated since there is a damage and needs immediate attention. It triggers a workflow routing it to ops management team via automated alerts to the approvers. Now, they need to review the damage and decide if repairs are in order or a new equipment needs to be purchased. Now, using machine learning, the intelligent routing action automatically routes a request to one approver in the ops team most likely to respond and review in the shortest time. All of this is based on the damage type, dollar value associated with the damage, the time, day of the week. If equipment repairs are required, appropriate services are dispatched to perform the necessary maintenance. 
If a new equipment is required, a purchase order is dynamically generated based on the equipment metadata, utilizing e-signature approval of the purchase. The equipment is procured and replaced by another field technician in a timely manner. Now, based on the metadata and text of the purchase order, natural language processing is used to determine the type of document being archived and can be intelligently routed to the appropriate location for document storage for audit purposes later. Now, the data is logged in real time into dashboards for analytical processing and predictions, and the company can be better prepared for such disruptions in future. Isn't that an amazing use case? Now, intelligent process automation is the key to automating, orchestrating, and optimizing the modern workplace tailored for your field staff. In the earlier example, what would have traditionally taken quite considerable time to do the tasks has now more intelligence fed to it and a considerable reduced timeline for completion. Thanks to the powerful capabilities of the platform, this field technician has decreased errors, no duplication of work, paper forms have been eliminated, and documentation is archived properly, which, is, which helps to keep everyone operating on schedule. Today, he or she can spend less time on the administrative processes and more time catering to the actual job function at hand and generating results. It's a win-win situation for all. Providing intelligent services is not simply the future of industries that rely heavily on field service management. It is the present. Now, intelligent digital transformation is here, and field-related business processes are ready and waiting to be transformed. It is about time we say goodbye to tedious manual processes and welcome the power of digital automation and intelligence into our businesses. So based on all the information that I have shared with you today, you can think of a couple of scenarios in your organization where such automation and intelligence can be utilized for your organization's field services. Udesic can certainly help you in this journey. We partner with you to identify and build a use case which has immense impact on your business and high return on investment. So please reach out to us for more details about our Jumpstart program and our road show schedules. With that now, I hand it over to Leslie. Thanks for your time and listening for me to me today. Have a great day. Don't go away, Pallavi. We've got a few questions for you here. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. Um, thanks for sticking with us here. We do have a few questions to run through. Um, here's the first one to, it's a good general one to kick us off. Are these capabilities available on-prem or just in the cloud? So Mintex works on-prem and on the cloud both, so you can utilize that feature there. Um, the uh, cognitive services are available on the cloud, but they can be consumed, so a hybrid solution is, uh, can be there in play. Um, so yeah, it, it works both ways. Okay. Um, here's another one relating to uh, the barcodes and QR scanning. How does this work in an offline mode in the Nintex mobile application? So Nintex has offline capability of um, uh, figuring out how the QR it fits associated in a system which is there applicable today. It can intelligently, if there is a, um, I would say a list of images that are provided as a QR and scan, it works offline as well. If not, then it works in the online mode only. Okay, and that, that kind of overlaps another question that came in about what if a field worker doesn't have remote connectivity? Yeah, so that is a very frequently asked question, and so I tried to answer that in the webinar as well. Uh, when you have no remote connectivity, you can still access your Neodesic, um, Nintex Neodesic forums uh, through an app, and uh, that will need no data connectivity for field population, field submission. Uh, at the time of submission, uh, it will just save it as a form. And once you are uh, connected to the internet or you have the network, it connect, then submits and then triggers the next steps. Okay. So the data is not lost. It, you don't need an online connection for submitting the form. It saves it, but does not submit it to trigger the next workflow steps. Okay, thanks for clarifying that. All right, here's one more. What technologies are required for building out the intelligent field service as aspects? So we are building these uh, with partnership with Nintex. So uh, it's an Nintex suite of products. It sits on top of Microsoft, or it can sit on outside Microsoft as well. 
So Nimtex is tied very heavily to SharePoint in the past. Now it works with or without SharePoint. Um, for the cognitive services, however, you can utilize the Microsoft Azure services. We are also partners with uh, Amazon and Google, so you can utilize their services to build, um, associate uh, any of the API service calls that can be consumed by, by the Nintex uh, platform. We can utilize them. Okay. Oh, I have one more. What dashboarding or reporting tools work best here? Um, for reporting and dashboarding, we have used uh, Hawkeye, which is an Intex tool, uh, but you could also utilize Power BI, Tableau. There's a bunch of other tools available out there. Uh, for consistency in the usage of the full suite of products, we tend to go with Intex, but we are also uh, partnered with other uh, Tableau and Power BI so that you know we can give an, an, a great experience to the end user. Okay. That has, we've worked through all our questions with the one exception someone asked about if the slide deck is going to be available. And yes, we will be emailing you a link to the recording of today's presentation. I want to again thank everybody, both uh, our Nintex uh, partners in this program, as well as Pallavi, thanks for your time today. Uh, as she mentioned earlier, we are kicking off our roadshow events in Chicago. First week of next month, we're going to have two different events, one downtown at the Aon Center and one in the Downers Grove MTC. If you'd like to talk to us sooner about what's going on here and how to address different intelligent field services that you uh, are interested in optimizing within your organization, please reach out to us. We've got Tim Corkin's contact phone number here, and we also invite you to visit us at newdesic.com. We've got a, a jumpstart program that may be just the right fit for uh, where you're interested in beginning or expanding upon your current uh, automation capabilities. Thanks again, everybody. We appreciate you being with us today. Thank you.